Tantia Tope he was a general in the Indian Rebellion of 1857 and one of its notable leaders. He was born as Ramachandra Pandaranga to a Marathi Dashastha Brahmin family and took on the title Tope, meaning commanding officer. His first name Tantya meant general. It is believed that he had escaped the British with assistance from Raja Man Singh of Narwar and someone else disguised as him was hanged in his place. It is also believed that he spent the last years of his life in Navsari. A personal adherent of Nana Sahib of Bithar, he progressed with the Gwalior contingent after the British reoccupied Kanpur and forced General Wyndham to retreat from the city. Later on, he came to the relief of Rani Lakshmibai of Jhansi and with her seized the city of Gwalior. However, he was defeated by General Napier's British Indian troops at Ranad and after a further defeat at Sikhar abandoned the campaign. He was executed by the British government at Shivpuri on 18 April 1859. According to an official statement, Tantia Tope's father was Pandaranga, an inhabitant of Jola Pargana, Patoda Zilla Nagar, in present-day Maharashtra. Tope was a Maratha Vashista Brahmin by birth. In a government letter, he was said to be the minister of Baroda, while he was held identical to Nana Sahib in another communication. A witness at his trial described Tantia Tope as a man of middling stature, with a weak complexion and always wearing a white chukri dar turban. Topic. Role in the 1857 rebellion After the uprising in Kanpur took place on 5 June 1857, Nana Sahib became the leader of the rebels. The British forces surrendered on 25 June 1857 and were evacuated to the Satichora Ghat on the river, where they were massacred. Nana was declared Peshwa in late June. General Havelock fought with Nana's forces in battle two times, they were defeated the third time and withdrew to Bithar, after which he crossed the Ganges and retreated to Awa. Tantia Tope began to act in Nana Sahib's name from Bithar. Nana Sahib decided to use the captives for bargaining with the British. The company forces from Allahabad, under the command of General Henry Havelock, advanced relentlessly towards Kanpur. Two forces sent by Nana Sahib to check their advance were defeated. After that defeat, it is alleged that around 200 British women and children were massacred on the instigation of a courtesan in Nana Sahib's court. The details of the incident, such as who ordered the massacre, are not clear. Some believe that Tantia Tope gave the order, while it is widely disagreed by historians that he could not be charged with those alleged murders. Christopher Hibbert opined that Tantia himself saved 53 British women and child from the rebels. Followed by this incident, the British East India Company forces conducted a punitive action under the lead of General Autram by blowing down Nana Sahib's palace in Bithor with cannons, in which Indian women and children, including Nana Sahib's young daughter Mainavati, were burned alive. After losing Gwalior to the British, Tope and Rao Sahib, nephew of Nana Sahib, fled into the Rajputana. He was able to induce the army of Tonk to join him. He was unable to enter the town of Bundy and though announcing he would go south in fact went west towards Nimic. A British flying column commanded by Colonel Holmes was in pursuit of him and the British commander in Rajputana. General Abraham Robert was able to attack the rebel force when they had reached a position between Sanganer and Bulwara. Tope again fled from the field towards Udaipur and, after visiting a Hindu shrine on 13 August, he drew up his forces on the Banas River. They were defeated again by Roberts's forces and Tope fled. He crossed the Chambal River and reached the town of Halrapatan in the state of Halawar. He induced the state forces to rebel against the Raja and was able to replace the artillery he had lost at the Banas River. Tope then took his forces towards Indore but was pursued by the British now commanded by General John Michel as he fled towards Syringe. He was still accompanied by Rao Sahib and they decided to divide their forces so that Tope could move to Chanderi, and Rao Sahib, with a smaller force, to Jhansi. However they combined again in October and suffered another defeat at Chota Udaipur. By January 1859 they were in the state of Jaipur and experienced two more defeats. Tope then escaped alone into the jungles of Paran. At this point he met Man Singh, Raja of Narwar, and his household and decided to stay with them. Man Singh was in dispute with the Maharaja of Gwalior and the British were successful in negotiating with him to surrender to them in return for his life and protection of his family from any reprisals by the Maharaja. After this Tope was alone, Tope admitted the charges brought before him saying that he was answerable to his master the Peshwa only. He was executed at the gallows on 18 April 1859.
Topic See also Bahadur Shah Zafar Begum Hazrat Mahal Nana Sahib Rani of Jhansi equals equals notes <laughs>